Hey everyone, today we're going to be doing another Minecraft video, but this time we're not going to be doing a tutorial. In fact, we're actually going to be doing a base tour of what I just worked on, on the new mod pack that we've been working on. And we'll talk a little bit more about that mod pack at the end, but for now, let's go ahead and take a look at the starter base that I constructed. So I guess we'll go ahead and start with the exterior. Um, this is actually based on a ski lodge called the Blue Moose Ski Lodge. It's up there in the uh, in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. If you've ever Wyoming, when I say weird like that, if you've ever been up there before, got some very beautiful uh, ski lodges and uh, just a great overall place to be if you're in joy of nature. But I'll probably have a picture of it um, here or something. That's where I got the inspiration from. The most difficult part, I would say, was to get the roof down, actually. I used a chisel tool, a chisel and bits tool from extra bit manipulation called the oval tool. And I trimmed off the excess sections and then had that to go. So, that's it really for here. Um, this is you know, the sides, like I said. So, the sides, um, not really too much going on. Um, it was a little oddly shaped to put, you know, evenly made, spaced window. So, I... Um, kind of obscured a lot of it with just some uh, stone and everything but that's the sides the basement and everything overall it turned out much better than i thought it would especially considering um i started over on this about twice i'll have uh two pictures i'll have some pictures i think whenever i edit this later um of how rough it looked before i uh scrapped it and started over and uh, worked a little bit more with uh, tinkers uh i'm sorry uh chisel and bits so let's go ahead and take a look at the uh interior now so stepping inside we can go and take a look at the uh ornate door that i constructed that's also based in the lodge we'll come inside we'll have a whole staircase thing i made that's also using uh chisel and bits we'll take a look at those floors later but uh here welcome in a uh, little reception area, uh, open plan, uh, living room, kitchen, dining room, all that. Um, notice the walls. I went ahead and used paper wall from chisel. Um, you have a plain texture, and I added a dark oak trim to it using chisel and bits. The whole plan was to kind of replicate some of the uh, dry uh, a drywall look. Um, and I overall, I think that that um, worked out really nicely. And then we went ahead and gr used green. I guess we'll take a look, take a look at the uh, living room first. Um, it's pretty simple right now. I look forward to maybe expanding on it a little bit. It's a pretty, uh, it's it's pretty, I don't know, tall. I guess that was the, also a, a big hallmark of the original uh, lodge, as well. Um, we went and made a little coffee table. I don't know how well it turned out. I would love some uh, feedback on some of this, by the way. Um, for maybe some more experienced designers of chisel and bits. This was my first time, my first build ever using chisel and bits. Um, a little fireplace here, except there's no fire. I was dismayed to, re to learn that uh, Draconic Evolution had removed their safety match, which allowed you to light a fire. Um, but yeah, so we got the paintings there. We think I wanted to head and just add a little bit of detail because honestly it looked pretty blank before we had the paintings. A little dining table, got lots of space, lots of plates. Went ahead and tried to make some like wine glasses with uh, the chisel and bits. I think they turned out okay, I guess. Um, got our kitchen here. Um, I'm going to use and using the um, cooking for blockheads mod, which allows you to uh, integrate a lot of the things about Payne's Hoggers Craft. We got a sink here, we can store ingredients here. Um, then using the floor here, which is that's why the floor looks different. That's what links it all together. Uh, hello, Mike. Um, so you got a little bar stool and everything. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Um, and then back here, I haven't really decided what I want to do with these rooms yet. In the original, they were, um, master bedrooms. But I think we're gonna go ahead and make them, uh, magic areas. I'm gonna have a thumb craft space here. Possibly, um, Psy stuff and some astral sorcery stuff here. Quite honest, I've not played with uh, Psy and astral sorcery before. So I don't know what the space requirements are. For some of those so if any of you uh, more uh, knowledgeable people in the comments could inform me if I'm making a huge blunder or not that would be great so let's go ahead and take a look at the upstairs as well moving right along to the uh, upstairs area using the uh, custom stairs I made with the banister and everything and uh, let's just say this banister was not my finest work of art <laughs> well uh, see it's it's pretty much the same style as the up uh, as the uh, downstairs originally um, I haven't quite decorated up here as much. Uh, the bedrooms are a little blank right now. So if you guys have any ideas on how those could look, that'd be excellent. But this must be a master bedroom. Got the whole uh, ceiling thing going on. I have some custom lights using some glowing white blocks from the uh, flat colored blocks mod. Uh, I went ahead and adjusted the chisel and bits configuration file to allow for full lighting from one bit. So that's why it's so bright in here. Got the carpet here that's not finished. It's supposed to be another master bedroom. And then right here, got another bedroom here. We could even split this room if we wanted. Maybe it'd be a little more efficient, but I doubt it. And if we come outside here, we'll have a little wheat field that I've been using to make uh, overgrown stone. 
uh, because this is a custom mod pack, we actually have a recipe for overgrown stone, so, like that. Um, and then back here, we have a, uh, smeltery. I went ahead and decided to hide it, um, back here, because I didn't want it the, uh, distract from the natural beauty. There's not really a place to fit it in this house originally, so, yeah. So we'll go ahead and take a look at the basement now. We can access the basement a couple ways. The first way is if you can come in through the front door, you can come up downstairs. This is our machinery floor, so we got all of our, we got our ME system down here and everything. Uh, back here is our power system right now, which is, uh, very basic at the moment. We're actually using some, uh, Newsmatic dynamos from uh, thermal expansion. They actually run on diamonds and believe me they make a lot of power in the future We plan on using oil to make our uh, Power we've never used oil generation before so it should be a fun learning curve We'll get to do some fun multi blocks with uh, immersive engineering. I look forward to using oil um, And here's our machine floor. I have not automated this yet, but believe me when it looks automated You're gonna see machines all across this floor uh, or Across the wall. I mean and then you come over here. We got our ME system. It's pretty basic right now uh, if you have any ideas for this, that'd be awesome too. With a server closet, you know, this is where most of the action happens with all of our drives and everything. The back here is a wiring duct. It's uh, pretty basic. Oh, some mods back here for us. But yeah, we have our uh, crafting CPUs here. We've got plenty of them, believe me. Uh, and then we got the, a lot of the wiring that goes back here. So overall, pretty basic base, I would say. Oh, my mistake. I forgot the garage. So uh, we got a little garage area here. That's uh, you can access here from as well, except it crows the door on me. These are both functional for Malalysis doors. Fun mod. Uh, not really much going on back here. We got our tinker set up here. Um, we got our engineer's workbench and then a collection of heads up there and some barrels. Uh, originally, this is actually where we lived out of, so all the machines and everything was all in here while I was working on the base. But uh, no more. We have the base completed, so we can go ahead and take care of that. Uh, and then lastly, you can go ahead and take a look at our, um, kind of a natural view here. This is just a spot we found in the Alps. Got pretty lucky, I would say. So that was really exciting to, you know, find this. And then down here, uh, this is where we have all the stuff we don't want to show on the Alps. Got a little farm area, got the, uh, chorus plants going, and the cactus and everything. But, uh, yeah, so that's our base we've been working on for this. And, uh, if you're interested, I'll be talking about the mod pack next, so, uh, stay tuned for that. As I said earlier, this is actually using a custom mod pack that's being developed by me and a couple of friends, and we're calling it Quantum Industries 2. It's named after the last mod pack we did over the summer. I don't know if you uh, may have seen the Discord link in some of the older mechanism tutorials, um, but that was a link to the uh, server. Uh, in fact, that was what it was for. In fact, those mechanism tutorials were actually meant for um, players in the server to use, but uh, I guess they just got popular or something. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so... We're uh, looking forward to trialing out the uh, mod pack a little bit more. It's um, generally a kitchen sink mod pack, but there is a lot more emphasis on um, end game control. We're um, going through and balancing a lot of things. Like for example, we're gonna um, look at the calculator mod. Oh, that is the mention. We're gonna have the calculator mod. We're gonna have nuclear craft. A lot of fun mods for 1.12 uh, mechanism, thermal expansion. All those bad boys are in. We have all the magic mods, so it's a lot of fun. It's a pretty dense mod pack, I'd say. But uh, so far, everyone seems to be having a great time with the pack, and I'm looking forward to seeing uh, what people can create. Um, if you're interested in actually playing alongside us, um, that may be an opportunity in the future. Right now, we're actually closed to uh, just me and a couple of friends while we uh, test things and get a lot of recipes going, because believe me, there are bugs. Um, I'm still learning Craft Tweaker. I'm, new, I'm usually familiar with Mind Tweaker, so it's a little bit of a language curve. Um, but that's no matter. Uh, we'll have some more information on the mod pack coming up soon. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Leave a like. Leave a comment. Tell me what you know how awful my ski lodge looks. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.